My name is Hisham Al Askari and I'm an Associate Professor of Earth System Science and Remote Sensing in the Schmidt College of Science and Technology. There is no doubt that we have been observing an increase in the frequency, in the duration, and in the magnitude of natural events or extreme events. But we, all of us are just focusing on global warming issues, carbon dioxide emissions, and changing temperature trends. But what about the domino effect in the atmosphere, the hydrosphere, the biosphere, lithosphere, and cryosphere? I'm interested in understanding the interactive mechanisms among those subsystems and see how they shape the environment we live in. And these are the different kinds of topics that I like to touch bases with the students during my teaching or during my classes, where I try to make them understand the physical processes of natural or anthropogenic origin. One major theme of my research is the impact of aerosols, which are injected into the atmosphere either by dust storms, anthropogenic pollution, or um, by local emissions or biomass burning. We actually have been also trying to understand how the coral reefs have been bleaching in the Red Sea region over the past few uh, decades. When you are dealing with uh, satellite observations, you always try to find patterns and you always try to find extremes out of the norm. And usually when you are working with observations over a very long period of time, you are able to capture that visually and sometimes we can overlay these kind of outputs through something like uh, the image globe. We can overlay, for instance, how these aerosols off the west coast of Africa contribute in the development and the formation of the hurricanes. These are questions which are requiring massive amount of information and massive amount of output. So I always try to engage the students in different areas of research, writing programs, writing codes, trying to analyze, trying to derive meaningful information out of those data sets. When I joined Chapman University five years ago, I was coming with the impression that students who are only in the graduate level can do research. And Actually, I've been fascinated by the excitement that I see in the undergraduate students and how much they like to be engaged uh, in the research environment. So my goal in my teaching classes is to teach the students how to learn and how to be independent, how to ask the right questions and how to pursue the right path in order to find answers for those questions. And there is no doubt that the most uh, rewarding feeling for any faculty member or any scholar is to contribute in the development of new generations of scientists. So I, I have very, very high standards for Chaplain students and I really admire their eagerness uh, to know and to learn.